Hey, what's going on ladies and gents? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. I'm going to be talking about the new event that's going to be coming out very soon. By very soon, I mean tomorrow, the 20th of August, uh, by the time of recording at least. So if you guys can see, the event duration lasts for 10 days. If you guys see the logo here, you might uh, recognize it from something in the past. And it seems like we've only gotten events that happened in the past. They had no new events these past few days. Just the Theater Mechanicus, the Lost Riches, and now this. It just looks like reused event content a little bit interesting because they might just stop making new content to that degree where you know they always make new content or whatever um so they might just start reusing content naming them something else and just move on and i guess this is their quote-unquote way to make these types of content permanent rotating them in the name of an event which i find pretty unusual of them to do might as well just put them all in the game and just, you know, unlock their rewards for them every week or two weeks or whatever it is. Alright, so in order for you to be eligible, you need to be adventure rank 30 or above. So any, any of you who are lower than that are kind of uh, in a sticky situation. Alright, so you gotta also do the world quest, Chisato's letter, as well as Rito's escape plan for the Archon quest. See the details over here from the first day onward. New challenge will be unlocked each day. So every single day will be a new challenge. Each of these will have a Shodan and an Okudan mode. Uh, Shodan mode features three difficulty level normal hard extreme. Yeah, it's pretty much the exact same event. And they just call it different stuff. Uh, Okudan mode only locks after completing extreme difficulty in Shodan mode. Okay, so maybe this is like the super hard mode. Oh, that would be great. Each challenge has three completion criteria. Cool. Each challenge features a unique Shinryo mechanic. Yeah, we already know about that. During the event, adjust your world level will not affect the level of the opponents in the difficulty. Alright, cool. And you can only do this in single player mode. So, for those of you who want to be carried, it's kind of unfortunate. But, I mean, it's pretty cool either way. Just make yourself a nice team and you'll be good to go. You do have to be Adventure Rank 30. So, if you guys have not gotten to Inazuma and you haven't done those two quests... Chisato's letter as well as the Archon Quest for Rito's escape plan. Um, basically, you just gotta unlock the Inazuma map. Uh, if we just go down here, if it would allow us. So yeah, you just gotta, you know, escape from Rito, unlock this part of the map, and, you know, the rest of the map, and you'll be good to go. As well as do Chisato's letter, which is just sending a letter to Leiwe. Pretty easy, just teleport. Alright, so I'm gonna show you guys gameplay. Maybe if I can pull it out here of the previous um, Phantom Floors or whatever the heck it's called. And it's kind of weird, alright? So it was pretty fun for me back in the day because I didn't have a solid great team for my overall you know, enjoyment of the game. I just started out once more after get, taking a break from the game. It took like a huge hiatus from the game. So I came back, tried to build my Zhao, tried to build my team, my whoever I had, Gene, and I tried to build a decent team comp. So me going into this, you know, f these events, I didn't have a solid team. So me going into this, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try my best. And I cleared it out and they gave me the buffs and everything. I was like, oh my God, I can finally do damage because they gave Zhao the whole plunging attack thing, doing more damage. I was like, oh yes, this is exactly what I wanted. I'm doing damage. <laughs> it was uh, fun uh, then, but now it's kind of different where I already built my, built my teams, built whoever I have now and I'm really interested of what they sort of do to sort of change it because what they did is they made people be rank 30 in adventure in adventure rank rather so they probably want your team compositions to be a certain way whatever or be leveled up to that sort of a level or degree and you having to do that is a little unusual because now their whole easy normal you know, hard mode is scaled based off you being adventure rank 30, which is very different from what it was in the past. And it's probably going to be a little bit tougher for some individuals. So I'm very, very interested to see what they do with how much they have going on right now. So if they make it a little more difficult for the extreme, it'll be way more fun for people who have played this game for a really long time. And I really hope they do that with the whole okay. Aki, whatever it's called, mode. So maybe, just maybe, it'll be a little bit difficult. 
hoping i do hope it is difficult because that would make the content much more valuable for everyone in the game as well as them having that easy mode maybe that easy mode would give you the primo gems that you want from this or the rewards that you want from this which are the primo gems that's gonna be pretty nice so even if you don't have a really strong team and they give that easy mode so you can get the reward that you want that would be pretty nice that's been my opinion at least these types of games with the event and everything it's kind of unusual to me that these should be permanent game modes but we can't really do much about that I mean, it is what it is, really. We've tried our best putting in the surveys, putting in Twitter or emailing them even to just try to make these inside the game permanently. But because of mobile restrictions, because of the whole taking up all your space from your mobile device, it's kind of hard to keep these in the game, just like how they completely removed the Golden Ar Apple Archipelago, which pretty much is probably going to come back like a some sort of event type thing and probably going to bring it back in the future and call it something else which i find a little bit unusual as well but that's probably what's going to happen and yeah i mean that's pretty much what my opinion is on this anyways so yeah i mean that's going to be pretty much it for today's video i know it was a short one but thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys did enjoy if you did consider liking the video subscribing to the channel be excited for the future because ball is coming very soon and we'll be able to make content on her thank you guys so much for watching see you guys in the next one Bye.